guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm not sure what I'm going to call my channel from now on. I've been thinking about a few ideas. If you have any ideas, like in relation to like the new um, material that I've been talking about, minimalism, everything like that, then let me know in the comments below what you think I should call my channel. I think it'll be fun. Just leave a comment. I've got a few ideas. It doesn't need to include my name either. So anyway, this is all my clothing in the world right here. Remember all that clothing that I had? It was like mountains and mountains of clothing. Well, I culled it down to just this. It fits in this backpack and I'm pretty damn proud of myself. Really? It is just, it's amazing. So let's go through some of the items. Okay, so this top is a little bit out there, a little bit sexy. You know, I'm not going to probably wear this around that much, but I can justify it because it's like for YouTube videos and stuff. So it's a fun top. We're going to keep that. Um, I like casual tops like the one I'm wearing. It's very thin. It's very light, very minimalist. And um, here's another one as well. So I've got two of these. Very good. I like that. Uh, this is for bike riding and it has a little like breathable section here and it protects your face from the sun as well. I think that's very practical. Um, one pair of socks. Yeah, <laughs> one pair of socks. It's kind of, um, I'm kind of into the no socks life. You know, I'm into the no socks life. So at this point we only have one pair. That's all right. Um, we got these little like, these. this is a swimmer bottom, which I got from like the UK or something. These are cute. I like them. Uh, this is a top from this is from Lee and Lani, but seriously, don't order their stuff because their customer service is shit. Okay, it's really, really bad, and they screw me around a lot. So I do not recommend them. I do like this top, which is great, but it's not really worth it when you got to deal with a lot of crap. So this top is like a thin one, just you know, see through and everything, like an undertop. This was made for me, it's a crocheted like watermelon top, which I really like and it's going to be good for like just walking around and making YouTube videos in it as well, like that. Um, this is an exercise top or it could double as a swimmer, swimmer top, so I really like that. Um, this is very thin, like this is very light, very, very minimalist. It kind of looks like you're, you're nude when you're wearing it because of the colour. I like that. Um, this is a beanie. It's a watermelon beanie. Isn't that cool? Everyone should have a watermelon beanie. And it's got little ears on it. Super cute. Uh, exercise. This is an exercise top, so I only have two, but like this is so comfortable. I love this a lot. Really, really comfy. So I wear that and the black one with the mesh that you saw. This is another top that I can justify keeping because I really like it and it looks pretty, pretty cool on. And it's like, it can be swimmers as well. You can double the swimmers. Here is the underwear, okay? The sexy end of the bag. So we have black, just about everything is black, but these are really nice. I got these off Etsy. These are really cute. Um, and I got some more, they're very comfortable. I'm only choosing to keep these ones because they're super comfortable and they're also nice and I like them, they're very light. This is a top, like a lingerie top. I only really got one of those. I don't have any bras or underwire bras or anything like that. I'm not wearing a bra now. I just like to let them hang, you know? Uh, and the next one is sarong. <laughs> Nothing sarong with a wrong sarong. These are so good, so versatile. You can use it like to lie on it, to like, you know, have it as a towel, um, as like a kind of like a blanket, like a covering at night. Really, really good. I, don't, I always travel with at least one sarong. This is a top that I got off eBay, I think it was. I don't know, it was quite cheap, but I really like it. I've been wearing it quite a lot. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. It's very comfortable and it's quite flattering, so I keep that one. I'm wearing these kind of um, pants right now. They're very comfortable. They're great for like flying and um, just for just relaxing in general. These are very, very comfortable. They're loose, don't cling to you like tights do. But tights definitely have their place, and I have a few of those. These are for, this is cycling um, sleeves. They're good, they come in handy so you don't get sunburned and baked while you're cycling. This is my banana girl top. Couldn't leave my banana girl top, you know? That's my identity. All right, um, also we've got, I love calves. These are nice tights, like this is one long pair. I've only got one long pair. So I thought, hey, I can, you know, I wanna have at least one of everything. You know, I think I'm going to use these when it's quite cold. Uh, this jacket. This jacket is good. This is like 
quite an expensive jacket, but it's really good. It's only thin, the shell, but it's waterproof and it's also windproof and it really is good if you want to adventure, for sure. Um, okay, got another jacket. Is it still recording us? Yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> Ness is like checking to see whether it's still recording because like the phone is not behaving itself right now. So this jacket is reversible. It's really cool. Uh, it's got a hood as well, which is very handy if it's cold out. And this is another jacket. I have a few jackets and I was having a little bit of a mental struggle whether to keep this one or not, or whether to keep this one. And so I'm going to keep them both. I did cull a lot of jackets out of my life, so it's not too bad. I don't have that many. Uh, and, and we have shorts. So I have a couple of pairs of shorts. These ones, comfortable. And these ones, these are really light and really, really comfortable, but sometimes they smell like sweat. Like they just like, I don't know, the sweat just really sucks into them and they stink a bit, but they're clean right now, so we're good. Let's be vegan. Let's be vegan. I like this top, it's pretty cool, it's very light. Um, we're nearly to the end here. This bag fits quite a bit, as you can see. You've got a bit of a collection happening here. Oh, hang on. Okay. So we got cycling. So I've got like two cycling nicks. These are like padded nicks. So if I'm doing like a longer ride, I've got extra padding, which is really important. If the ride's longer than like maybe 40 k's or something like that, I prefer to wear some padding. So I can definitely justify having a couple of pairs of those. Might do some touring soon. Who knows? Um, tights. This pair of tights is good. I really like this for cycling shorter distances. And another pair of tights. I like these ones that I've got a bit of a signature go for it yourself on them. They're really cute and light. Very light. I can't give away my purple ones yet. Like, I really like these and I've been wearing them for years. And it says high carb on the bottom, so I can't really get rid of them. Alright, nearly to the end. We've got this um, top, this is like a bit of a skivvy, you call it a skivvy, long sleeve number that keeps you warm but it's quite thin as well. And that is it. That is my minimalist wardrobe. There's, I haven't counted how many items are here and I may still do further culling but at the, this point that's what I have and I'm really happy with it. Like you saw what I had before, like a lot of you saw it and it was, it was terrible. Really it, was, it wasn't good. And you know, when you're going minimalist, like when you, when you have a lot of stuff that you don't even like use at all, it's going to occupy like space in your mind, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, it's just going to be extra things that your mind is going to be thinking about, whether you realize that or not, it's like extra weight. So I'm shedding that extra weight and I'm already feeling like relief from it. It's really, really awesome. So you should think about doing it yourself. You know, go into your wardrobe and ask yourself, how long have I had had this, like when did I last wear it? And if it's been like months and it's not like a weather dependent kind of top, like these ones, what you need in the winter, then just get rid of it, pass it on. You know, give it to like a thrift, thrift store and then someone can wear it themselves. You know, there's people out there who would really appreciate to wear that and you're not wearing it at all. So it's, it's really not worth it to keep it, to hold on to it. And um, another thing you can do is every time you purchase something, um, and something new that you give something away and also you know try to to get second-hand stuff go to the thrift stores I find thrift shop clothing so, like shopping so exciting it's like super exciting because you find things that you just wouldn't in normal shops and also um, it's already been kind of lived in a little bit so it seems to fit better and sit better if you know what I mean so definitely try that as well. So that's it. Okay, that's my video for today. Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this, you have more ideas for me and I will think about it. I'm going to be kind of relaunching my channel soon. This isn't like the, the relaunch. It's not like really a relaunch, it's just a freshen up, but it's going to be, I'm really excited about the direction that it's taking. Okay guys, I will see you soon. I will see you next video. Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs>